Hey there, I'm John Zimmerman with Upper Creek Angler, and we're tying our way through Steve Scoose's book, Grayling Flies. This is fly number 16, the I-O-B-O. -O. I am in, a, in admission, have not fished this fly, but I am super interested in it, and I am confident that it's going to be a fly that catches a lot of fish once I start putting it on um, the end of clients' leaders. Um, Lots of things to love about it. Super simplicity, only a very few materials, and uh, n not relatively expensive materials either. So we'll get started. I have some um, 12 o cream colored nano silk in the vise, in the bobbin. And I have a number 1080 Daiichi number 12 in the, um, the vise. This fly is suggested to be tied down to even um, 26s and 28s, I'm using a number 12 just for um, for videoing sake. Because I'm using the, the number 12, I'm going to use three feathers instead of the um, suggested two. And what we're going to do is we're going to line these CDC feathers up. These are um, in some natural brown colors. We're going to line them up. At one and a half to two times the um, the hook length. So I've got about right here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these in. Here. And then I'm going to make open spiral wraps to the the front of the fly. I'm going to pick these up when I get close and I'm going to clip these out. I cannot wait to um, to fish this fly. On one level I'm certain that it, it's really going to catch fish and on another level there is um, there are, are only a couple of patterns that I would ever keep in my box that are that are simpler than than this. So what we'll do is we'll take these feathers over and um, in the book, Steve mentioned that he liked to leave a few of the feathers, feather barbs pointing the um, other direction, which is um, super consistent with um, my beliefs about that too. A couple of those feathers pointing the, the opposite direction. And then we'll come in and we'll hitch these guys up. And we'll put a few thread wraps in front of these to create a um, a slight wing prop them up so that they're at a, um, a 45 degree angle I don't know that those are as long as what we actually want them to be so I'm going to snap a number of these off but this is in the the spectrum of a, a truly great emerger pattern takes absolutely no time at all to tie but um, is one gonna float like a cork two is um, super simple and super easy to tie so you don't mind tossing them in places where um, you might not have wanted to um, toss a fly that took you 30 minutes to tie and um, to finish this off, I just um, colored this thread with some permanent marker for our whip finish. There's um, whip finish number one. And I'll come in again and um, tie another, another whip finish off for a head. Again, this is fly number 16 from the book. The um, O, the I-O-B-O. -O. Um, I have not fished it but it's one of the flies from the book that I absolutely cannot wait to fish for um, for picky dry fly eating fish who have um, not seen it before. I'm going to tie it in um, sulfur yellow and I'm certain that I'm going to wreck some fish on the, the South Holston um, just up the road from me. So y'all tie this fly in um, a number of different color spectrums in CDC feathers that you have. And um, I know that you're going to catch fish on it. So happy time.